for the Tata Group, sir, because you're present in 150 countries. Today, Tata products are available in 150 countries, and you have operations in about 100 countries. And in about 20% of the population is across all uh, the employee population is across different countries outside India. How do you think that Tata culture, the Tata way of business, can be ensured that despite this expansion, this growth, this diversification? The Tata way, the Tata values, the Tata culture can be can be uh, perpetuated. That again, I think, is an issue for the leadership of uh, the group to do. The only way it can be done is for the leadership to embody all those attributes in his or her uh, interaction with all the employees in, in every place of the business. Failure to do that, I, I think if, if you can't show your hands both ways, uh, you better not show it, show them because somebody else will find the spots. Right. Yeah. So walk the talk is what you're saying? No, the, 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 issue, the issue would be You know, you you basically have to live the life that you you expect others to live yeah. by, the rules that others should live by. Your unwillingness to to be a party to the same to the same rules leave you naked, in a manner of speaking. So uh, I think that's the. That's the issue. If you decide that it's okay to do this, if that's what you, the leadership decides, and and he lives that way. That's that's a dumb thing. Maybe some people will complain and some people will accept. That. But to stand for something and not have it applied to you, I think, is the kiss of death. Right. Because then it, it it sort of permeates.